Now, when I went through the GUI environment launching that instance there, it took me a whole bunch of clicks, at least a million clicks. Okay, you're right, it wasn't a million clicks. It was a lot of clicks though, and I didn't even touch all of the optional features. I was just doing the basic core required parts to get the instance up and running. So it can get wildly more complex to that. And as you might imagine, AWS has an answer for that by giving us command line tools and API calls that can help us automate the process of launching these instances for us. Let's walk through the command line and generate a launch template for that same instance that we created and get one running using the command line tools. Over here on the command line, I've got myself set up as my CBT admin, so I do have EC2 permissions. And I'm just gonna start first by generating an input template for the run instances command. This is a really cool little switch uh, that the command line supports. To do this, we do AWS EC2, and I'm gonna use the run instances command, but I'm gonna provide in a switch called generate CLI skeleton. Now this is gonna dump out a JSON parameter file with all of the possible options for the run instances command. So I'm gonna dump this out to a file and I will call it input file.json here. Great, and if we take a look at that input file, you can see it does indeed contain a whole bunch of possible options for your EC2 instance. Uh, you got your Amazon machine images in here, the subnets, the security groups, all of those key pieces of info, and then of course, all the many optional ones as well. Now I can jump into that input file here and we can begin making changes to it. Now I actually have uh, cleaned up this file a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the lines and add in just the basic required ones that we were talking about earlier. So this will turn on the dry run feature. Uh, we'll need the image ID, the key pair, the security group and the instance type. And then it also has monitoring enabled. So we do need to go grab these four key input values. Let's get those from the management console from our previously launched instance. Over here in the management console, I'm taking a look at my little demo GUI EC2 instance that I launched previously. I'm just gonna grab some of those values that we need. Uh, I'll make a note of the instance type here. Okay, got that. Um, down here underneath of the security groups, I wanna grab that name. This one says SSH from Bart, make a note of that. And then down here under the Amazon machine image, AMI ID, I wanna grab this little part in the parentheses here. That's the AMI ID itself. We will need that for our little input template. And the final piece on here, the key pair name, and then mine was CBT Nugget. So I will also grab a copy of that. Back over here on the command line, let's plug these values in. We can save the file. So we have the file sitting right here in the file system, and indeed it's the one we just got done taking a look at. Now that the file's built, we can pass it into the run instances command using the dash dash CLI input switch. So we'll do AWS EC2 run instances again, just like the first time. This time we use that CLI input dash JSON uh, switch. And to point to our file, we do file colon slash slash and we provide the name of our little input file. Cool. When we run the command, it'll parse that file. And remember friends that we have that dry run value set to true. So we should get a little bit of an error. <laughs> and indeed it does say an error occurred, but it points out that this is, uh, it would have been successful, but the dry run flag was set. So this is a useful way to kind of make sure that you get all of your syntax and your input file correct first without actually launching a new instance. When you're ready, you set that flag to false and then it'll go ahead and actually create the instance. So from here, we do a quick VI, we'll edit our input file. Uh, I'm just gonna set my dry run here to false. Very good. And then we'll run that same command and we should get the successful results back. And indeed, there are all of the JSON properties of the instance that just got launched. Notice it's in the pending state here. And back over here in my EC2 dashboard, if I just kind of refresh the view here, you can see that in Dude, I do have a new one on here. This guy right here running in the initializing state. So I can give that a friendly name. I can do demo CLI launch for that one. And if I look down in here, you can see it is running that instance type I selected, the correct security group, the AMI, and there's that key pair name as well. Now this was a pretty simple example of how to use that input file, but you saw all of the possible options that are available there. So make sure you use that generate CLI skeleton command and play around with how you can use that to create more powerful automated uh, launch instance operations.